Section 87 of the Indian Act provides tax exemptions for Indians and lands reserved for Indians. However, there are many rules surrounding these exemptions for First Nations and their businesses. Banded powered entities are exempt. However, they must adhere to strict definitions as to what a banned and powered entity is. Nonprofit organizations are exempt as well. However, they must not bestow benefits to a private person. They may not be a charity and they may not pay dividends. Corporations are also not a simple matter. Tax exemptions are provided to Indians, not their corporations. Therefore, only sole proprietorships and partnerships are tax exempt. These are subject to a variety of rules, which are the location of the permanent establishment, the location of the books and records, the location of the business office, the location of the inventory, the place where customer orders are taken, the place where employees work and are paid. Because corporations are considered to be a separate legal person under the law, Corporations are not tax exempt, even if they are 100% owned by an Indian. Taxation on reserves. Not so simple.